It is impossible to know everything that has happened throughout the course of human history, and plenty of archaeological finds prove just how vast our collective ignorance is. Archaeology is a study of human history through the examination of physical remains, with an emphasis on artifacts and architecture. Over the past few decades, numerous discoveries have revolutionized our understanding of history and taught us quite a lot about how ancient civilizations lived, worked, and died. We decided not to include things that people already knew about, such as the Great Pyramids or Machu Picchu. These are incredible places that people have known about for centuries. Instead, in this video, we will talk about some of the most remarkable archaeological discoveries. This year, numerous discoveries have been made that span disciplines, periods, geographical regions, and cultural traditions. For instance, some discoveries are years old, but only this year have they been thoroughly documented. Meanwhile, one of our readers voted the most popular discoveries is a recently discovered Renaissance masterpiece and grisly talismans made from human bone. While there have been many interesting discoveries this year, these are just some of the most fascinating ones. Here are the top 20 most unbelievable archaeology discoveries. Strange Reappearing Hole In the early 1970s, when satellites first began snapping photos of Earth, scientists noticed a mysterious hole in one of Antarctica's seasonal ice packs floating in the Lazarov Sea. Come summertime, the gap had disappeared and the strange event went unexplained for decades. Then, a year and a half ago, during the continent's coldest winter months, when ice should be at its thickest, a giant 9,500 square kilometer hole, almost 3,700 square miles, suddenly showed up in the same ice pack. Two months later, it had grown a stunning 740% larger before once again retreating with the summer ice. Pet Cemetery When Peruvian anthropologist Sonia Guillen and her team were excavating a cemetery south of Lima that was over a thousand years old, they found more than just human remains. The people who lived there during the Chiribaya civilization, which existed before the Inca Empire, had buried 43 dogs there. The treasured animals, which were employed in the herding of llamas, were buried in separate cemeteries close to their human owners. Many of the animals' final resting places had snacks and blankets. Due to the fact that the desert climate preserved the corpses of the dogs, Guillen was able to see how close they looked to a popular modern breed known as the Chiribaya Shepherd. Her team is currently attempting to prove a genetic lineage between the two types of dogs. Medieval Maternity a woman who lived in the village of Imola, in Italy, approximately 1300 years ago, passed away just a couple of weeks before she was set to give birth. Archaeologists found the skeleton of her fetus between her legs, making her an example of a coffin birth, which is an extremely unusual occurrence in which gas is built up inside a pregnant woman's body and forced the fetus out of the birth canal. However, the extraordinary discovery that someone drilled a hole in the mother's skull before she passed away has piqued the scientific community's interest even more. Trepanation was the term given to the process of creating such a hole. It has been used throughout history and in many different parts of the world to treat injuries to the head, headaches, and potentially even to exercise bad spirits. In this particular instance, the researchers are pondering whether or not she was experiencing preeclampsia or eclampsia, both of which are disorders associated with pregnancy that involve extremely high blood pressure and possibly seizure activity. Gobekli Tepe More than 11,000 years ago, at the end of the Stone Age, hunter-gatherers continued to live a nomadic existence. They had not yet settled down to a lifestyle based on agriculture, which is the foundation of our cities and towns today. On the other hand, this archaeological site in Turkey has raised questions about the time frame due to the massive pillars decorated with animal sculptures, stone rings, and many rectangular rooms. Many academics believe that it may have been constructed for religious purposes and that it could be the earliest piece of known construction in the world. Surprises in Egypt Archaeologists are the source of some of the most peculiar objects discovered during excavations. Peter Dermanwellian, an Egyptology professor at Harvard and the director of Harvard's Semitic Museum, recalled in an email that one of his Harvard predecessors, Dows Dunham, attempted to fool his own boss, the renowned Egyptologist George Reisner, who directed many of the most successful excavations of the pyramids. 
Dermanwillian is an expert in the field of Egyptology. In 1914, Dunham decided to test whether or not Reisner would be puzzled by the presence of a bronze Roman coin that he had recently purchased from an antique shop in Cairo. He threw the coin into a burial chamber that was going to be excavated. It was a waste of time since, as soon as the items in the room were organized, Reisner realized that his pupil had been the one to plant the coin. It is interesting to note that Manuelian reports that one of Reisner's meter sticks was discovered at the beginning of 2018 in a tomb in Middle Egypt. This discovery occurred 103 years after he initially worked in the region. Tiny Human or Alien The year 2003 saw the discovery of a naturally mummified skeleton in the Atacama Desert of Chile. The skeleton measured 6 inches in height and had a pointed head. Despite the fact that many individuals have claimed that the bones once belonged to an alien creature, scientists have since been able to sequence the skeleton's DNA and analyze it. This is despite the fact that many people have claimed that the bones once belonged to an alien entity. The bone density of the skeleton was comparable to that of a six-year-old, despite the fact that the skeleton was much smaller. She was descended primarily from native Chileans, but also had some European ancestry in her family tree. Ata is the name given to the female mummy, and it was just recently found that she had once been a human creature. However, the researchers cannot determine which of these mutations is responsible for her skeletal abnormality because they found seven separate abnormalities in her genes that are connected with the growth process. Injured Zoo Animals in Ancient Egypt Thousands of years ago, when Hierakonopolis was one of the most important towns along the Nile River, the wealthy citizens of Hierakonopolis displayed their status by keeping exotic pets. Hierakonopolis was one of the most important towns along the Nile River. The skeletal remains of several different creatures, including a hippopotamus, several baboons, and two elephants, were discovered during an excavation at a cemetery. On the other hand, the skeletons of many of the baboons and the hippo exhibited signs of bone fractures that had healed over time. This suggests that the animals did not live a life free of danger. The investigators are of the opinion that the animals were hurt either in the process of being seized or in the process of being tethered in place. However, the bones would not have been able to recover unless the animals had been protected. The fact that the bones were recovered is how we know that the animals were held in captivity. Kids with disabilities are buried like royalty. 34,000 years ago, hunter-gatherers buried many people, including two adolescents, at a site known as Sunghir, located a couple hours east of the city of Moscow today. Sunghir may be reached by traveling east from Moscow for a couple of hours. When the graves were excavated, the researchers discovered that the boys had been buried together, with their heads adjacent, with approximately 300 pierced fox teeth, approximately 10,000 mammoth ivory beads, more than 20 armbands, 16 ivory mammoth spears, carvings, antlers, and human fibulae laid across the chest of each child. Both of the boys had shown indicators of infirmity before their deaths, which occurred between the ages of 10 and 12. On the other hand, some of the adult tombs had no valuables at all, while others had only a handful of them included. Hidden Japanese Settlement Found in Forests of British Columbia Not to be outdone by Vancouver's rampant racism, a small community of Japanese Canadians established themselves in the North Shore Mountains of British Columbia during the first half of the 20th century. Other limitations aside, Japanese people were not allowed to vote, enter the civil service, or practice law during this time period. In the early days, loggers were probably the first residents of the North Shore settlement. The forestry of the area had been largely harvested by 1924, but Muckle suspects that the forest may have been. There is no evidence that can be considered conclusive that Muckle lived there beyond 1920. A date and some reports of subsistence activity led him to conclude that this settlement was abandoned in a hurry. The World War II surge in military activity suggests that these settlers had to relocate, and some documents back this up. Likely this abandonment of the settlement was at its end date around the year 1942. The sheer number of objects left behind at the site, more than 1,000 found to date, and some reports of subsistence activity led him to conclude that this settlement was abandoned in a hurry. Archaeologists cracked the case of 1,700-year-old Roman eggs. 
Researchers found a preserved Roman egg in a ditch near a berry field, an ancient settlement along a busy Roman road. It is the only complete Roman egg that has ever been discovered in Britain. The ditch is thought to have been used as a brewing pit during the 2nd and 3rd centuries and then used as a garbage pit after that. During excavation, a pair of the 1,700-year-old chicken eggs in central England released a pungent sulfurous smell, but a third egg remained intact. A sorceress kit was discovered in the ashes of Pompeii. According to Franz Lids of Smithsonian Magazine in September, recent archaeological excavations have led to many significant discoveries, including a Roman fast food joint, a fresco depicting a fierce gladiator battle, the carcass of a horse still saddled, and an inscription claiming that the Mount Vesuvius eruption happened in October rather than August. These discoveries come from a conservation and restoration initiative dubbed the Great Pompeii Project, launched in 2012 with a budget of $140 million. Numerous playing cards are included in the assortment of goods. Tiny dolls and skulls made from scarab beetles, crystals, phallic amulets, mirrors and gems. We suspect that this may have been a primitive spell book used for telling fortunes or attracting good luck. Alternatively, it may have been the instrument that the sorcerers used to hone her skills in order to become more familiar with fertility and seduction. According to Ansa's study, the cash most likely belonged to a slave or a servant because it did not include any of the gold accoutrements that are generally linked with Pompeii elites. Which bottle was filled with teeth pins and the mysterious liquid was discovered in an English chimney? Bottles containing bent pins, nails, thorns, urine, Fingernail clippings, hair, and even teeth were used to ward off witchcraft between the 16th and 18th centuries. According to Paralysis C. Meyer of G Store Daily, the bottle was believed to entrap witches with sharp objects inside on the points of pins. However, by the mid 19th century, talismans like a witch bottle, one recently found in a former inn and pub in Watford. A container made from a hollowed out whale vertebrae. During the middle of the 2nd century AD, a group of Iron Age Scots abandoned a brock on the Orkney Islands. The brock contained a human jawbone, the remains of newborn lambs, a pair of red deer antlers, and a large grinding stone. According to a statement released by the University Institute, the makeshift container was made from a hollowed out whale vertebrae. Archaeologists from Moonroof Institute discovered the B. The research had the same intention as a measure to perform an act of closure. The DNA analysis performed by UHI archaeologist Martin Carruthers and his colleagues identified the bone as a fin will bone. As a result, they wondered whether the ancient humans were hunting whales of that magnitude or taking advantage of a stranded whale carcass. Additional will bones were found. Archaeological findings lend credence to the second hypothesis, which states that the assemblage bears some resemblance to that of opportunistic animals. According to Carruthers, who Williams of BBC News quotes, that assemblage is what you would expect, we suppose, if you saw them as being quite opportunistic regarding what came across their path. You would expect this assemblage if you saw them as being quite opportunistic regarding what came across their path. Cave full of untouched Maya artifacts found at Chichen Itza. The cave system was reported on for the first time by local villagers who told of the discovery to an archaeologist. This report was supposedly never heeded by the research who ordered the area to be closed off to the public and refused to submit any documentation on the finding. In order to enter the network of chambers, archaeologists had to get on their stomachs and rabble through tight confines. It took archaeologists 50 years to travel down into the cave system that the Maya were famous for constructing. Guillermo Dianda was unable to speak and began to cry as a researcher told her that he had investigated human remains in the sacred cenote in Chichen Itza but that was nothing compared to the feeling he felt when he entered it for the first time by himself. Archaeologists discover medieval woman and child skeletons at the Tower of London. The Tower of London, home to some of the country's most powerful and illustrious people, has also hosted less well-known residents, such as these 500-year-old skeletons that were long lost and rediscovered in one of its chapels. These residents served at the Tower in less distinguished capacities, but made important contributions in their day. Archaeologists excavated the chapel of Street Peter Eventual earlier this year. They found the remains, which are estimated to date between 1450 and 1550. 
one of the skeletons belonged to a mother who had died between the ages of 35 and 40. In contrast, the age of one of the children was estimated to have been somewhere about seven. According to the assistant historic buildings curator for historic royal palaces, Alfred Hawkins, Dolly Elberts of the Telegraph reported in October that the two may have been related to the Royal Mint, the Royal Armories, or the soldiers who were assigned to guard the crown jewels because neither showed signs of violent death. This was based on the information provided by Alfred Hawkins. The ruins of the tower have made visible a facet of human nature that is typically obscured. Although it has served not only as a palace fortress and prison, but also as a dwelling for the laborers who have been employed within its walls over the years. The fortress has been continuously inhabited for close to a thousand years. Lost footage of one of the Beatles' last live performances was found in the attic. Since no footage was captured at the time, many fans believe the show had been lost. Luckily for them, one dedicated music lover watched the episode on a wind-up camera after keeping it in his attic for over 50 years. He got the idea to digitally document the historic performance. Chandler had kept the tape secret until the spring when he came across another brief video recording of the top of Chris Perry of Kaleidoscope, who specializes in restoring lost footage. He was inspired by all of the media hype to send Chandler a 92-second clip of his own. The extended performance, which Perry deemed phenomenal, is silent, and so is the shorter clip. However, Kaleidoscope remastered the footage, sensing it with the paperback writer audio and enhancing its video quality so that Beatles fans finally get the opportunity to watch the lost performance. A perfectly preserved 32,000-year-old wolf head was found in Siberian permafrost. When it comes to the long-term preservation of resources, the permafrost in the Siberian heartland of Russia is nearly incomparable to anything else. On the banks of the Turetic River in 2017, a local person discovered the frozen remains of a cave lion cub that was 50,000 years old. In 2018, mammoth tusk hunters recovered the remains of a foal that was 42,000 years old. The most exciting find in recent times may have been the fully intact head of a plasticine steppe wolf that had been preserved in permafrost for over 32,000 years. This two of the four-year-old wolf was part of an extinct lineage with different characteristics than modern species. Initial media reports said that the wolf's severed head, which was still covered in fur, was unusually large. However, an evolutionary geneticist from the Swedish Museum of Natural History who was involved in discovery said that the head was actually the $26.8 million Renaissance masterpiece was found hanging above a woman's hot plate. In October, an unattractive little panel painting by Simabu that had nearly been thrown in the garbage sold at auction for $26.8 million after experts identified it as a long-neglected work. The painting in question is an impressive 13th century work titled Dancing Girl, and it is known as Dancing Girl. Christ mocked, having sat undiscovered above the stove of an old woman in France for years now. The French government is imposing an important export ban on the painting, purchasing time to gather funds to acquire it. According to The Guardian, the title has risen to one of the top six most expensive works sold worldwide so far this year. The author, Angelique Christopher's writing, the winner-owner of the painting has always assumed it was a religious icon. They do not know how it ended up in their possession. While arranging items from an old woman's house, they do not know how it ended. I told him that it would have all gone to waste if I had not taken it to the dump. Auctioneer Philomene Wolf was taken aback by the image she stumbled across in her reflection. She told Ailey Julian of La Parisienne that she had to make room in her schedule after discovering the photo. Researchers investigating the painting concluded that it originated from a polyptych created around 1280 by Simabu perhaps best known as Jodo's teacher. Still, a pioneering artist in his own right, Eric Turquin, an art historian, discussed this topic with Scott Rayburn of the art newspaper. Archaeologists' universe remains of infants wearing helmets made from the skulls of other children. They were buried with decidedly unusual headgear headscarves carved from older children's skulls using a modified cranium from a second juvenile. The researchers placed it around the head of the first, allowing the primary individual face to peep out from behind it. The infants were buried at Solango, a ritual complex located on Ecuador's central coast in 100 BC. Another infant, aged six to nine months, was buried in Solango around 1900 BC. Both infants were interred at Solango. The skulls of adolescent animals are frequently unstable unless they are supported by the skin. The macabre headpiece of the yogurt infant was made from a person's skull in their early 20s while the helmet for the 18-month-old was worn by a child between the ages of 4 and 12. 
In addition to the baby's skull, the team found a finger bone and a fragment of a little shell. According to the lead author, Sarah, just of the University of the North Carolina at Charlotte, the most plausible hypothesis links a natural or social disaster with the helmet's probable purpose of offering extra protection or links to ancestors. The researchers found a small shell and a finger bone between the baby's head and the second skull. Terracotta Army The armies of kin are represented here by the Terracotta Army. On March 29, 1974, farmers in the Shaki province of Asia were boring water well when they discovered this image of hundreds of millions of mud soldiers all in one pit confronting the archaeologists. Several Terracotta non-military figures were also discovered in numerous pits, such as officials and acrobats. You may recognize this image from a horror film called The Mummy Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. On March 29, 1974, farmers in the Shaki province of China discovered this image of hundreds of millions of since the terracotta army was excavated. Some painted surfaces on the terracotta figures have started to flake and fade away, making it difficult to open the tomb in 15 seconds. The lacquer covering the paint may curl and flake off when exposed to sand dry air. The tomb of the first Qin Emperor was guarded by cavalry troops and war chariots. The length of the tomb is about the same as a football field. What do you think about the video? Please let us know in the comments area below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe and turn on the notification before leaving. Thanks for watching.